वेलकम एवरीबॉडी टू दिस सेकेंड एपिसोड ऑफ एडवांस एक्शल सीरीज इन दिस एपिसोड वील लर्न हाउ टू यूज दिस सॉल्वर टूल दिस सॉल्वर टूल इज़ वेरी इफेक्टिव वेन यू आर अबाउट टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम ऑफ अ फंक्शन हेयर आई हैव अ फंक्शन एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी प्लॉगड इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन इन दिस सेल टू फाइंड द मिनिमम एंड मैक्सिमम of this function uh, it will be easier to visualize if we draw the graph of this function uh, let's say the value of x ranges from 0 to uh, 8 with a increment of 0.5 i can simply select these cells and drag it down to a value of 8 which is my upper limit for the value of x and here i need to again plug in these equations and i can sim do that simply by copying these equations here and pasting it to this cell it has shown the value error here because uh, here the value of x has been referenced to b5 which is not any numerical value we need to change the value of x to be a6 in this expression and here goes our expression i can simply double click it to plot it uh, to the value of all the values of x and i can select these both cells to draw the graph i go to insert on chart i click on the scatter plot so this is how my equation looks like in the graphical form we have seen here there is one minimum and two maximum values in this domain you can see there is a maximum and we have guessed it to a, to be in the value of 7 that is the maximum in this domain is assumed to be 0.49 now we can use the solver tool to check whether this value is accurate or not in this region to do that first of all we need to enable the solver tool which i showed on the previous screencast you can go to file options and from the add-ins in this manager dialog you can go to the go tab and make sure to check this solver add-in button after that you press in data and click on solver now our objective is to find the maximum value and to display this maximum value in the cell b3 and this shall be obtained by changing the value of x so i have given all those inputs here then i press in solve and it has found me a solution where the maximum value is 0.506 likewise i can find the minimum of this uh, expression in this region i can assume it to be around value of 3.5 and validate if this expression is correct by again using the solver tool now one thing that i find good about the solver tool is it remembers the previous scenario that is the values of the cells that we have inserted so you don't need to select the cells in this tab and this tab you can simply check on the minimum and click on solve and here it has found me the minimum of this function in this domain which comes out to be around minus of negative of 0.7 where the value of x is 3.612 likewise i can again use this solver tool to find the value of maximum which lies in the region of 0.5 around 0.5 so again you go to solver and it has remember the scenario of the input and the output exp expressing cells uh, we are here to check the value of maximum so i click on maximum and you can change the subject to the constraints which means if you want the maximum value to be displayed within certain domains then you can highlight those here for now 
will just leave it as it is and click on solve and it has again find the maximum of this expression to be 0.95 in this domain where the value of x is 0.47 so like this you can find the value of maximum and minimum of a function from the solver tool easily and i'll see you again in the next screencast hope you guys have enjoyed